So let's uh, let's go ahead and move on to rolling a twenty. So God damn. Currently, when you roll a d twenty on attack roll, you crit, you do double damage, blah blah blah. Yep. When you make a attack roll with a sword or a firebolt, it doesn't matter. Well, guess what? Uh, you also forgotten that one. <laughs> I'll get to that one. Okay. okay, fine. And then that one is an automatic miss uh, on an attack on an attack roll. Yes. Those no longer apply to spells. First of all, no. Because so all you fire bolters, no more crits for you. Sorry. <laughs> Eldritch Blast, no more crits for you. Because as a written, they said you can only crit using a weapon attack. Yep. And Just you know what Eldritch Blast isn't? A weapon attack. <laughs> Do you want know smite and sneak attack isn't? Not a weapon attack. It's <laughs> 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 yep. brutal. But um, wait, there's more. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the the thing that makes it worse, though... And this is where I think a lot of contention is. And I actually have my thoughts that aren't so negative as grapple uh, on this. <laughs> is that a natural 20 on an ability check now is an auto, is a success. Yeah. Because um, that was, that's been such a big deal all over TikTok, all over everything. It's like a natural 20 on a, on a skill check. It's not an auto success. It only happens in combat. Well... It does now. Not anymore. <laughs> so uh, before things. before I give my thoughts on this, oh I would God. like to hear what you guys think because I'll okay. rant. It doesn't matter what okay. we think because you're just going to shoot us down anyway. Okay. <laughs> to a degree, I mean, attack rate kind of established that. I mean, we're finding a way to work with attacks overall. Mm -hmm. Sitting throws, I can kind of actually appreciate and all succeeding on net 20s because I remember for one time we got had it in one game I was in, a high-level dragon tossed at us. He doesn't unleash its fear effect. Okay, be my fire of this. I'm like, I literally can't roll that high. <laughs> well, it looks like you're running away. Right. <laughs> okay. But now a net 20 would, su would succeed. Even if you can't achieve. Right. And I think there's something for that, right? Right. Um, my bigger concern is on ability checks than saving throws. Yeah, and of course you would automatically fail yeah. on that one, but let's be real, you probably did in most cases anyway. <laughs> and, and, mon <laughs> and monsters can't crit. Oh yeah, monsters can't crit either. Monsters can't crit no more. Because I guess, and this is just Justin's thought, I think that mentions something about having recharge abilities. Yep. So I think they're going to have more of those when they redo no. the monsters. Did oh, say monsters or enemies. Oh, and when you well, also enemies, NPCs or monsters. And we rolled a net twenty. You get an inspiration point. Oh yeah, what that's the hell is one. that? So now you get inspiration <laughs> point for a nat twenty, which once again used to be something just the DM could pass out at their discretion yeah, as a I, reward. I made a whole rant on TikTok. Yeah, about I know. This I shit. was so excited when I saw it. I was like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yep, as we established as well, net twenties and net ones also apply to skill checks and ability checks. So let's talk. Let's talk about that because that's going to be the problem. Hey, uh, Brandon, um, that giant titan in front of us that's a thousand feet. I want to jump onto its head. Give me an athletics check, Justin. Twenty. I sail through the air and thump it on its head, and I grab my dagger into it. Screw that. I successfully jumped to the moon. Doesn't it specifically say that that don't work? Does it? Yeah. The limitations of... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> limitations of what? Yeah, no. I was being sarcastic, because it does, does say you can't bypass limitations, as you did say, jump to the moon, but... The only 20 doesn't bypass limitations on the test, such as the so ra such as range and I line of sight. I so, no, you cannot jump to the moon. Or okay, so that's a that. bad example. How yeah. about this? <laughs> I want to sneak behind, beyond the dragon who's resting in front of us and steal something from the horde. 20. I succeed. Yeah. What, what are your, what's your class? What are you doing? Doesn't matter. I succeeded. Yeah, you did. Why does it matter what I... So, right there. That's the problem I have. That means <laughs> that <laughs> any race or any class has the same amount of chance of success yeah. as anybody else. And, and it shouldn't be that way. And I think it also does potentially create... Too many arguments between players and DMs of what does count and what doesn't. That's what I see coming up. Yeah. Um. And now I want to. I, I do want to preface even though it's this. Just a game. Let's be real here. People can uh, get pretty heated about something. Yeah. I don't think that's exactly true. It's because like the rogue thief or anyone yeah. like that can have proficiencies or double proficiency with their stealth, yep. so they have a much higher chance, regardless of being able to roll a natural twenty, of still being able to stealth. It depends, though. If the DC is 30, which they said is the highest DC now. I thought that was already the highest DC. Well, it's a hard, uh, hard impossible. Cap. And it'll being five. Anyways, so that means let's <laughs> assume the DC is 30, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Um, and actually, this is one reason why I actually uh, am not as angry about this as I was before. But the... the uh, damn it. Yeah. 
Actually, what Andrew just said here, in regards to net 20 on the ability checks, what about your ass is doing impossible, maybe don't ask for a roll. But they do insist. Remember that success could just not mean they they don't break their hand trying. Okay. That, which leads me to an example somebody gave online one time. Like The common example I see people referring to is going up to a king and say, give me your kingdom. Yes, it's and, a range band. Right. And, of course, people will say he's not going to do that since he hasn't rolled in the first place. Whereas I've seen some DM argues, you know what, let them roll anyway. Because, yes, they still can succeed, but the roll still might determine how badly they fa fail. Because if you, if you roll that 20 in that case, the king just laughs it off and that throws you in prison. Yeah, and so this comes <laughs> back to what I actually wanted to say and is actually in the blog for this episode. Yeah. That success is a range band, right? Yep. So you can succeed in your persuasion, um, but he's just not going to kill you or yep. toss you into stocks or, or something like that. But – the real issue I have with that is I can see half the players being like, I, oh, I succeeded, ah! and not giving a damn what the DM says. That's the concern I have, because we have set a precedent that is auto precedent that it is an auto success. Shoot, that's already happening to the degree. <laughs> and I mean, it's going to get worse, though. Oh, yeah. It's going to get worse, because, well, it says right here in the rules. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And there's so many players <laughs> that insist on just rolling without you asking. <laughs> You think you're and, hidden. And here, here's, <laughs> you here, think you are stealthy. <laughs> here's another thing, too. This is something else I brought up in a TikTok that I think you saw. Uh, the D20 bypasses only bonuses and penalties to the roll. I'm going to state this again okay. on, on camera in front of everyone, and you guys have already heard this. If That means if someone rolls at disadvantage because it's a, pen, it's a penalty and they still roll in that 20, it still means a success. That's what I heard. Yep. <laughs> But that might just be the wording in the playtest, too. Yep. Once yeah, again, we got to yeah. take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. It is playtest material. And something else, yeah. too, is yeah. one I, the idea behind 5th edition, too, is they're trying to simplify the game compared to past editions. And I think some of the material in here is stepping away from that and not for the better. I would agree with that. Now, granted, there I do believe there were some areas I do think need to be fleshed out better or maybe be readjusted. But some of the choices they made might have been too far the other direction. I just want to shout out to all the Pathfinder 2 people who are celebrating and say, Pathfinder 2 is just 4E that you didn't like, <laughs> just so you know. Get, get, get. I'm not thinking, thinking about like uh, the, the meme of like with, with the Princess Bride, with Wesley being able to add one d, d Now let me explain. Like Kasu Fasini holding a knife up to Buttercup, <laughs> with uh, Fasini labeled as a uh, Paizo, and Buttercup labeled as 3.5 and 4th edition. Yes, you are trying to take my eye rightfully stole. <laughs> no. Cracks me up. Yes. Yeah, what do you, we're, we're, uh, we're live, man. No. You can't be sending that <laughs> people showing us naughty stuff on the live. It's not naughty. What do they care? Well, they're here. To, they're listening to us talk, and you're showing naughty screens. Don't it's do that. Naughty screen. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw it up on everything. Uh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> so um, we everyone on the internet has their own feelings on this. Um, I think it's going to set a precedent of arguing between player and DM, and that's a concern that I have with it, more than the fact that it's a success. Yep. Yeah, it's a and, and more, that's already happening. <laughs> <laughs>